Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today we have a Ulta haul for you guys. I haven't did a haul in a minute and I was like, you know what? I need to haul the things that I've been picking up lately. So I went to Ulta on a whim and I was like, you know what? I was really looking for the new Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe, that second round one, but I didn't find it. So I picked up some other products that I thought I would love to enjoy or test out or whatever the case may be. So hopefully you guys are interested in this video. Make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and become a part of the D4L squad. And I want to say welcome to all of the new diamonds and gems we have gotten. We are currently at 2,343 diamonds and gems. So let's keep them rolling. You guys know that there is a build up for the 5K video. The 5K giveaway, there is a build up going. As soon as we hit 5K, I do have a giveaway prepared for you guys. So hopefully you guys stick around and join the family. And let's just get right into this haul. So in my mind, I didn't pick up enough for this big ass bag. Let me show you guys. They gave me this big old bag and I, it's not filled up or anything, but they gave it to me to make it seem like I did a lot of shopping. The first thing I picked up was the Patricia Brights and Revolution, Makeup Revolution. Face palette is what it's called. And this is in the shade You Are Gold. I've been wanting to try this out, but never did pick it up. Or should I say, every time I went to my Ulta, they didn't have it. So therefore, I was never able to pick it up. But I did choose the shade You Are Gold. And it's one of the deeper shades. I love that it's a hard tin can. Y'all don't say nothing about my thumb. So here's what the shades look like. Very, very pretty. I want to see if this contour, yeah. I wanted to see if that contour shade was deep enough for me because I didn't want to go with the deepest deepest because it seemed like it would be too deep for your girl. But that is what the contour looks like. I think the blush is really a pretty mauvey deep rosy go of uh, rosy pink. So I was kind of excited about that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really pretty. And then let's test the highlighter. The highlighter seems to be popping. Ooh, yes. Ooh. So I'm excited to be testing this out and using it. Hopefully it applies to my face as it's swatching because swatches are pretty decent they're really good now one thing i could tell you is don't go by the looks of the back of it because the back of it looks way darker than the actual pan oh i did pick up two brushes my twin sister here on youtube makeup shay if y'all want to see her want to subscribe to her channel go ahead and click that button right there and go follow her she did pick up two Morphe brushes and y'all know I've been in the Morphe glam bag for over a year now and I honestly I don't think I have these two brushes so when she hauled them I was like I need to get those two brushes so the first brush is the M506 brush which is the tapered mini blending brush it's almost like a dome shader brush but it's a little bit longer so I'm excited to have that one and then I got the the M505 brush which is the tapered blending brush so it's the big sister to the mini tapered blending brush so I'm not for sure if I have this brush neither I need to go through my brushes and see if I do but this is just a shader brush which Morphe have some great brushes so I'm excited to have these two in my collection and be able to use in my looks and things. Pick up the Jeffree Star and Morphe setting spray. This one is the Set and Refresh Straw Bear Scent. And I did see the palette that he came out with with Morphe. It was the first palette that was all pink and all that. I didn't actually like it in person, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna skip out on it. 
But I think I am going to pick up that new one, the velvety, the velvety one that he is about to launch. I do think I really want that one. So I just settled for the Morphe and Jiffer Star setting spray. And I only wanted it because it was pink and it says strawberry on it. So, but I did pick up, however, the new Morphe mattifying continuing mist spray. And they do have an illuminating one, but I haven't been using the illuminating the illuminating sprays i've only been using the dewy foundations lately so i was like i might as well go for the mattifying continuous mist and of course they do still have the original one the black one and you guys know i love that so hopefully i like this one too i am gonna do a video on a wear test or something with this bad boy so i want y'all to hit the subscribe button and be on the lookout for that video um i did pick up the revolution the makeup revolution conceal and fix loose setting powder and this one is in deep honey i haven't heard anybody talk about this and that was the reason why i picked it up i love picking up things that nobody has spoke about or i seen speak about so i did pick this up and i don't know if it's gonna be a good one or a bad one it looks pretty promising it says talic free and no flashback and it's water resistant so this is the color and she reminds me of my fancy honey powder the pro filter powder as you can tell and i wonder if it's a deep mm -hmm. for it Ooh. So I'm super excited to test this bad boy out. Um, I kind of want to peel it off and see the color, but I guess I'll wait and use it like in a first impressions drugstore type of video. Let me know or let us all know if you guys have tried this and what your thoughts of it is because I'm interested to know why nobody talks about this. I wonder if it's good or bad, but I haven't even looked up the reviews yet on Ulta's website or anything I did go inside of Ulta to shop I really too much don't like to do the online shopping thing so the palette that I picked up was the ColourPop Nude Mood oh you guys I've been wanting to jump back into ColourPop for a good minute now but like I said I don't like to shop online I like to be able to pick up my products and go I'm a little bit impatient, so I was happy to see that they had the Nude Mood in store, but they didn't have any of the newer ones in store. I mean, Nude Mood is pretty fairly new and all, but it's not the newest, newest one, so I just picked up what they had in store, and they did have the California one, but I was like, you know what, California one is a tad bit older than the new mood, Nude Mood. So I was like, I'll opt for this one so that at least some of my videos will be relevant. So I'm excited to try this one out. The lighting is washing it all out, but you guys should know what this palette looks like. I'm excited to try it and see if I like it. I just may go back and get the California one because it is on my alley. I just probably won't do videos on it unless you guys want to see it because it's kind of an older one. It's, it's not as new and popping as the newer things that's coming out. Now, they have there has been some talk about the Tarte Shape Tape wands and all that good stuff. So I did pick up a mini because I wasn't for sure about it. But this is the Glow Wand. And you're supposed to match it with your Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It says it's a perfect glow combination if you use the glow wand which is shape tape concealer so i did get the shade aurora aurora and i just wanted to test it out and see i'm glad it came in such a mini i think it's so cute i think that is so stinking cute but i wanted to try it because i'm not quite for sure about it people have had their their moments about it and it's an actually perfect shade and then i did pick up the urban decay stay naked weightless foundation and it's up to 24 hour wear and i did get the shade 70 wr and it says it's a warm red undertone so i did a couple of swatching while i was sitting there and actually i was on the phone with my twin sister 
the whole entire time that I was shopping at Ulta because I didn't I just went there on a whim and didn't have a makeup wish list um and she was a little upset but I was like tell me some things to get and we were talking about everything that I was seeing so I did pick this bad boy up so I will be doing a wear test a foundation wear test for you guys I think this is a perfect shade I did some swatching of the three shades that I thought would match me and I walked around the store for a minute let them dry down and all that good stuff and came back to this one which I thought okay I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna give this one a fair shot I did pick up the Anastasia foundation but they did not have a shade for me. Now, one thing I can say is I did not find a shade for the Urban Decay Concealer, the Stay Naked Concealer or the Press Powder. So I was like, I'm just gonna deal with the foundation and go on by my business and play it safe. I'm not gonna pick up anything just to, you know, give a video. I wanna actually try to use some things. So the other palette that I picked up was the 3503 Fierce by Nature. Morphe palette and like I said I went in there looking for the Jaclyn Hill new palette and they didn't have it so this is about the newest Morphe palette that they had so I picked it up and it is up my alley whole bunch of warm tones and bright colors and all that because oh and I love the palette now, I am upset about this the shades that's on this plastic paper that really nobody keeps up with I don't like that Morphe can we please Put them in to where they stay at least into they attach to here at least or can we find spacing to put it on the bottom okay please and thank you but here is the colors i'm super in love with the colors the camera and the lighting is not picking up the true beauty of this but these two greens this pink this gold Oh, these reds, the orangey tones, all of it is just calling me. I really like this fire orange tone right here. It reminds me of the 3502 palette. It is, ooh, y'all look at that. It's a little patchy, but look at it. My colors is not picking up like talking about. I think it's probably my, more of my background too that's like really taking the color out but this is that fire pink look how it stains i wiped it off look how it stains look at that glitter i want to try it oh it's a beautiful orangey pressed glitter oh so pretty so 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 pretty the mattes and the shimmers let me swatch a shimmer for you because that was a glitter they're looking pretty good pretty 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 good oh yeah the shimmers are real buttery and soft. So I cannot wait to give you guys a look with this. You know what? Let me just swatch the green one real quick. This green one is calling my name. So I want to swatch this green one. And St. Patrick's Day look coming ASAP. ASAP. Ooh, look at that. And then the last two products that I picked up were some Morphe liquid lipsticks that i've never ever 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 tried i don't own not one morphe lipstick so i did pick up two and the shades i got is true story and taunt and i just you know settle for the nudes because you know if anything nudes are just right up my alley and they're more comfortable to me but i heard so many good things about morphe liquid lipsticks so I was intrigued to try them. Look at those, you guys. And the packaging is so pretty. Packaging is so pretty from Morphe. Okay, so this is Taunt, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that bad boy. I swatched them in store, but I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Here is Taunt. Pretty, pretty nude. And they smell like ugh, cupcakes or something. And I like that. Taunt is more of a lighter shade nude which i'm okay with because mixed with a brown liquid uh a brown lip liner would be right up my alley um and i think they will wear really good it's not too 
nude for me but it's nude enough and the other one is called true story and this one is more of a lighter one and i'm okay with it too it's like a brownie nude which she looks like that is right there on the bottom and I think they're so pretty. So that is everything from the Ulta haul that I've done recently. Like I said, I walked into Ulta on a whim looking for the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe. But you guys let me know what products, if any, that you guys would like to see an in-depth video on. And be on the lookout. Like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you won't miss any new videos that I'm coming out with these products i will be doing a lot of first impressions and things like that or just good old makeup tutorials using this stuff so hopefully you guys are interested and will stay tuned that is everything and in the words of my loyal subscriber i would love for y'all to keep shining and i will see y'all in the next one